W and go down to remove doubles. And this is kind of important to get uh, everything right. And it says you deleted 2,943 vertical verticals. Now it will be easier to rig or something. What I heard. And then you go back to object mode. Take the armature. Press here to go into pose mode. Now you can pose your character. You can like rotate the arm. You see the mesh, or the dwarf, is following a little bit, but uh, <laughs> you see messy as hell. Can't really do anything with this. So, what you have to do now is to press on the dwarf and go here to weight paint. Now we just pick a bone and paint around it. Uh, I'm gonna show, but I wanna be in wireframe mode. You see, you see it a little bit better, I think. You just change here from texture to wireframe. I want to start with the hands, so you see good. Just pick a bone by right clicking, and then you paint all over the hand. Don't paint on the lower arm here, because then it will interrupt with the other uh, bone there later. So okay, that one can be. Now that you have painted here, the bone will take the mesh that you painted, all red. Now you pick this one and paint that one. I'm just gonna make this arm to show you how it works, then I make everything else by myself and you can make the rest yourself too. It's not hard. Now you see I painted wrong on some places, then I press N to get this panel up, and I go sub, subdivide, means, uh, not smart, there, you pick mix again, just wanna have this part here, come on, bah. This one. Ah, you have to experiment some. I think we got the lower arm, upper arm. You can be so precise you want. The more time you go into this, the better it will be. I'm just gonna do something fast. Fast. I hate underarms. Never really. You can actually, if it's the. I'm gonna show you later. I can't explain that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you see, I leaked some here on the lower arm. That's no problem because this will not rotate that arm. You will rotate the lower arm with this bone. And if you uh, picked anything here, it will flow. You will see i sure I made some errors. Go to object mode, textured. And you can just rotate this 
the arm is following. Same thing with the hand. Smooth. Oh, beautiful. Front. You see the hair is following. Might want to go sub some there. But I think we got a good movement on the arm here. Maybe some fixes here. Just gotta work with the mesh. Decide whether you want the hair to follow the head. On only a bit of the hair and so on. In this pos position I think it will be easy to paint. And not interrupt with the uh, other leg and so on. So just keep on working on this model. And uh, I will see you next time. When I will show how to animate and save animations. And then import into the game engine. Thanks for watching. This was Farox showing you how to do this. Bye.